hello good morning welcome back to another vlog i look a little bit like a hot mess right now so we're gonna ignore that i'm obviously still like in my pajamas and i need to get ready for the day it's currently friday morning i took benny out for a little walk around the apartment had my coffee did a little bit of work on my computer and now i'm about to put away some clean laundry that I just washed last night, which by the way, I showed you guys that laundry detergent. This one, the Glamorous Diva Wash from Tyler Candle Company. It is like embarrassingly expensive, especially for laundry detergent. It's so, so stupid. And I really don't think I will be repurchasing it just because of the price. Like I just can't justify it, but I told you guys when I first got it, I was like, eh, I don't know if I really like this. The more that I'm getting used to it, it smells so damn good. I don't know. I just think like the first time I smelled it, it I was like kind of thrown off. I, I didn't know what to expect and it was a little bit different than what I was imagining it to smell like. But now I really love it and I have been getting compliments. And when I go to take a shirt out of the closet, I'm just like, oh my God, it smells so good and it really really lasts on your clothes and like even as I'm just like out and about I keep getting like whiffs of it am I trying to encourage you to buy $90 laundry detergent absolutely not but I'm keeping it real I have been really loving it oh my god but another thing that I wanted to kind of vent about for a quick second is freaking copyright it's ridiculous so if you don't know I think most people by now have an idea of like how YouTube works but um you cannot include like just regular songs that's why a lot of the times the music that you hear in people's vlogs is like not really the best it's kind of like elevator music but it's because we have to be really careful about the songs that we use because if the song is copyrighted even if you're just using a couple seconds of that song it can get flagged and your video can get demonetized or it can even get taken down and it's just so frustrating because it's really hard to find like decent sounding music that's free to use that you don't have to worry about the copyright and I have a bunch of old videos where I included songs that were supposed to be copyright free they were free to use they were just like created by like independent SoundCloud creators and at the time they said yes feel free use my songs you're all good you don't have to worry about copyright and then over time I don't know if they end up getting signed with a label or something but I swear like every so often one of my older videos will get flagged for copyright and this past week it's been happening every single day like every single day I have at least like one to three videos that get flagged luckily it's been nothing serious and i haven't been getting in any kind of trouble but what happens is the video then it says that it's either demonetized meaning i don't make any money from the views on that video or the money that i would get from those views is just going straight to the person that owns the copyright on that song which is such bullshit because if i have a 30 minute video and it's all clips of me it's all my own content that i spent hours putting together editing myself and i have a 10 second clip of a song 10 seconds out of a 30 plus minute video now all of the money that i would make from those views is just going straight to the person who owns that 10 second clip of the song and i totally get it like i understand you know creative ownership and all of that kind of stuff like i respect that but i just think that that's such bullshit like i'm sorry 10 seconds out of an entire video luckily youtube gives you the option like if something gets flagged like that you can just mute that part of the video so that's just what i've been doing and that way i get like the full monetization back sorry if you don't give a shit at all about that i just needed to vent about it because it's super annoying <laughs> but i don't know exactly what the plan is going to be for this weekend i thought that i would attempt to vlog and bring you along because i have not vlogged at all with my friends down here if you're new i moved back in december from pennsylvania to wilmington north carolina 
and I came down here completely by myself not knowing anybody and I've made some friends down here I have like one little group in particular that I spend a lot of time with and we spend pretty much every weekend together but I tend to not vlog on the weekends when I'm out with them and I feel like a lot of my vlogs lately have just been me at home in my apartment and I feel like that gets really redundant and boring so I want to try to share a little bit more of like my social life and my life outside of this apartment. I always feel kind of weird vlogging with other people especially for the first time because like I don't know how they're gonna feel about like being my videos and stuff you know but I'll try to get some clips here and there. I know that I am hanging out with them tonight. I don't know exactly what we're doing. We might be going out downtown. So yeah I'm gonna finish putting away the rest of this laundry and then I have a couple things like laying out on my dresser that I want to just like tidy up. I think that's it. I cleaned my apartment yesterday. I do have to wash my hair at some point because it is, oh my God, geez, what is this? <laughs> it's super greasy. By the way, look how long my hair is getting. So crazy. I haven't been doing anything special. I haven't been using anything special or doing anything different. I don't know. I feel like even my nails and my body hair, everything's just been growing super fast. I'm going to finish straightening up, pull myself together a little bit. And then once I have an idea of like what the plan is, I will let you know. I'm getting ready to head out the door, but I wanted to give a quick shout out to Anna Luisa. They are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much to them. I have been working with them for over a year now, and they are my go-to jewelry company. 99% of the jewelry that I have and that I wear on a regular basis is all from Anna Luisa. Anytime anyone asks me like recommendations or, oh, I love your bracelet, where'd you get it from? My answer is always Anna Luisa. I need my jewelry to be high quality because I don't like to take it off a lot of the times and I don't want to have to worry that oh if I get it wet it's going to tarnish or turn green or stain my skin. So my Huggies are all Anna Luisa and I've had these now for about a month maybe longer than that and I have not taken them out since I got them. They stay in my ears all the time. I wear them in the shower. And as you can see, they still look amazing, super shiny, not dull, not fading or tarnishing at all whatsoever. I also just recently got this necklace. This is the Elise Pendant Necklace, and I love it. I just love how like elegant and classic it is, especially with Mother's Day coming up in about a month. Anna Luisa jewelry is a great gift idea. In the past for Mother's Day, I normally would take her out somewhere, like we would go get lunch or we'd go get pedicures together or something like that. But this year, I'm not gonna be able to be with her in person because I did move pretty far away, which makes me really sad. So I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? You know, I, I want to let her know that she's appreciated and I want to be able to get her something for Mother's Day, but she is such a difficult person to get gifts for. That's why I usually go like the experience route with her. But I recently got her a necklace from Anna Luisa and she loves it and wears it all the time. So for her Mother's Day gift, I'm gonna get her another piece from them. And they actually are having a Mother's Day sale that's going on right now. It's buy one, get one 40% off. It's a great deal. You definitely should take advantage of the sale while you can. Like I said, their jewelry is amazing quality. They're also a sustainable company. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions, which is amazing. I will have the link to their site and a discount code in the description for you guys. And thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this part of the vlog. Let me show you guys my full outfit. I just got these sunglasses a couple days ago from Key Australia. And then here's my outfit. Oh, I didn't even say where I was going or what I'm doing. Um, I am meeting up with one of my friends that I'm going to be hanging out with tonight. We are going to go take our joggies for a nice long walk and try to get them nice and tired. So then that way, when we're hanging out tonight, we don't have to worry about them. I always try to do that. I don't leave him home alone very often or typically for like long periods of time. Um, but if I am going out at night, I try to make sure I get him nice and tired during the day. So that way he 
just goes right to sleep and he doesn't even care that I'm gone. So I have this bodysuit from Forever 21, just simple nude. And then these joggers are from Misguided. I'm going to wear my nude pillow slides from Amazon. So we got a nice all nude outfit, the nude sunglasses too, and my hair is still super greasy and disgusting. I figure while we're out, I'm probably gonna get a little sweaty and gross and we might go walk on the beach I'm not sure so I'm just gonna wait till later when I get back to wash it and style it and all that afternoon we took a nice long walk down by the beach uh, we were down in an area called Fort Fisher and there weren't many people out so we were able to just let them go off leash and play and they're both really really good like they come when we call them it wasn't an area that was like anywhere close to the road so it was totally safe for them and they had a great time and it was perfect because by the time we got back they were both so tired so they're gonna sleep really well while we get to have a fun girls night i just love where i live it honestly looks i mean they do film a lot of movies and tv shows here so it makes sense but it just looks like straight out of a movie i feel like i say that all the time i just still can't even get over it and believe that I actually live here. And after that, we stopped at the liquor store. We're gonna make lemon drop martinis tonight. I'm so excited. For a while, our thing was espresso martinis. We were making those pretty much every weekend, but we decided to try something different and switch it up. So we went and got all the supplies for that. Um, now she is on her way home. I just hopped in the shower because, ugh, especially after walking around and being by the water, like that salty air, I just felt like I needed to shower. And my hair, I mean, you guys saw this morning, it was so greasy. And now I'm doing a little bit of light makeup and then I think I'm just gonna like dress super comfy and then bring a bag of clothes to change into in case we do end up going out. And I don't think I'm gonna actually bother like fully doing my hair. I think I'm just going to blow dry it and then I'll bring my curling iron with me and then if we do end up going out, I'll just throw some curls in it. Hey, I am all ready to go, just grabbing my tote bag. Oh, I need to grab my lippy combo i'm just gonna grab a couple random things i'm bringing these little heels i have from h and i'm gonna bring my faux leather pants from zara they're super comfy but really cute at the same time and then this square neck bodysuit from misguided i'm gonna wear my oversized black denim jacket also from misguided and then i might drape it over my shoulders with that outfit depending on how i feel Ooh. then i'm bringing some hair products for styling my hair with um, this is the kenra thermal spray it's a heat protectant and hairspray in one spray this on my hair before i curl it and then oh this is not the one i want to bring hold on 
Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. I put that in my hair after I style it um, to give me some extra volume and texture. And then it also helps my hair, like it prevents it from getting greasy as quickly. And then I'm gonna bring my curling iron, a clip, bringing some perfume, and then some lip products. And that should be it, I should be good. And I'm just wearing a band tee and the same joggers I had on earlier. For now, just to be comfy, I'm gonna put on Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Okay, purse, bag with all my stuff, phone, keys. I think that is everything. I'm gonna head over there now. I will try to get as much footage as I can of our night. We'll see how much I can get. Stepping in for Sam today. Give us the tutorial. Oh. Hi guys, um, stepping in for Sam today. My name's Haley. Um, we're gonna be, oh, please don't mind my dirty dishes. Okay, let's see ingredients. <laughs> this is, oh, wait, we're not gonna use this. We're gonna use this, this. Oh, where's the lemon chill? Unprepared. Okay, and the lemon chill. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do one shot of vodka. Yeah. Okay. Now everybody makes theirs different and honestly this is bigger than a regular shot glass. So turn your hand because the shit's heavy as fuck. They're here for the tutorial as well. You know, Greg, girl, Greg you just got the girl feeling loose. Hi, welcome, Haley's Kitchen. How may I help you? Oh, I can pour that for you, man. <laughs> Reaching behind the counter. You know what? I forgot. Mm. Let me smell this. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh yes. Too bad we just don't have martini glasses. I know, but it's fine. Oh wait, martinis don't have ice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that out. <laughs> oh yes. So cute! Thank you! Wow! Thank you! Amazing! Thank you. Cheers! That's good. You like it? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Sam Smith. <laughs> what? Cheers! Currently 9.32. I got home like four hours ago. So I don't know how I am awake right now. I feel very puffy and swollen and just disgusting. <laughs> the sun is like coming through the blinds in my room and I don't know, it just woke me up. So decided let me make myself a coffee and I'm just gonna lay in bed for a while and then see if I end up falling back asleep, which I hope that I do because I really don't want to be running on less than four hours of sleep. It was a really fun night. Like it was really, really good. No drama, just tons of dancing. The only thing that kind of sucked about it was those shoes that I wore. I thought were gonna be totally fine because I've worn them. I've had those shoes for years and the heel is like pretty small on them, but I guess when I've worn them in the past, I didn't do as much walking as I did last night. And there was a lot of like cobblestone streets and I was dancing like crazy, which was so fun. But my feet like halfway through the night were killing me when we were ready to leave and we were walking back to the car. I took them off and I walked barefoot, but that was painful too. So yeah, they're feeling pretty sore right now, but it'll be fine. This lighting it makes them look so angelic. Makes me angel. <laughs> when I got home, he was literally just laying on my bed, sleeping, like totally content. Today, I think it's just gonna be a chill day. I'm probably gonna hang out in bed. I really could go for just like laying around and watching Netflix or something, like starting a new show. The weather is really nice today though, so I don't know. We'll see. It depends how I feel. Moving vlog number two. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Today it's okay too, but it's windier and colder. 
I just got off of FaceTime with my mom. I was doing some under eye patches. These are the ones I was using, the Pixi Detoxify. Now, I am actually gonna start a load of laundry and I especially want to wash my sheets. And I'm gonna start with my comforter because this takes the longest to dry. I just got dressed for the day. I'm gonna bring my dog Benny to the park. And then after that, I wanna stop at Trader Joe's. Let me show you my little comfy casual Sunday outfit. So I'm wearing this hoodie that's actually from my merch line, which I will have linked down in the description. If you would like to check it out, let me show it to you this way. So it's the hair texture chart with all the different textures going from straight to super coiled. And it says all hair is good hair. It also comes in a crew neck sweatshirt, a long sleeve, a t-shirt, a tote bag, phone case, mug, a bunch of different things and a bunch of different colors. If you like this design, it'll be linked in the description. Go check that out. And then I have some plain black leggings on. And yes, my room is a little bit messy, but we're gonna straighten that up later. I didn't really need groceries, so I got mostly just like frozen stuff. Cause Trader Joe's just always has really interesting things. So I like to go there more for like my fun grocery shopping. So first I got some Tuscan bread. This is so good. A slice of this toasted in the morning with some eggs. It's delicious. I also got some chicken breakfast sausage. And then I got ground turkey, mushrooms, shaved Brussels sprouts. I was thinking throwing these in a pan with the ground turkey over some rice, make like a little bowl, it sounded pretty good. Then for the fun stuff, I got some hold the cones. I got these chicken tikka samosas. I've never tried these before, but I love samosas. And there hasn't been a single thing that I've gotten from Trader Joe's that I didn't like, so. I wanted to try those, they sounded yummy. I also got the chicken tikka masala. This is so good. I also got their mac and cheese, so, so good. And then the chicken fried rice, also so delicious. Then I got a bottle of wine and the cashier, who was very cute by the way, said that this was really good. And then lastly, I got a turmeric juice shot because I was out drinking this past weekend and I thought, you know, let me get one. Cleanse my system a bit. Ooh, it smells so spicy. Cheers. Oh, it's not bad at all. It didn't taste the best, but not spicy at all. Honestly, kind of tasted like pickle juice. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. I need to put this air conditioning on because I'm like naked right now, sorry, but it's freaking hot today and it kind of sucks it's like really warm and really really humid but i don't know if you can tell it's super cloudy and insanely windy and i'm pretty sure it's supposed to rain really hard in a few hours not really an ideal day to be out tomorrow is supposed to be really nice though so i definitely would like to go to the beach or at least just go for a walk or something. But yeah, it's currently Thursday. So it's been a few days since I last vlogged because I really just haven't been up to much this week. It's just been a lot of work working on other videos and I just didn't really have anything to vlog. Oh, also earlier this week, I randomly stopped by Home Goods and I got some martini glasses because we were saying earlier in the vlog that we didn't have any martini glasses to put our martinis in. So now we're gonna be official. And I also got some margarita glasses, but I'm about to make myself some lunch. I'm trying to decide what I wanna have. We're gonna make some eggs, breakfast sausage. It's already almost 3 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything yet. I'm gonna have breakfast since I didn't have any yet. I went from like, you know, my mood to like being so freaking happy because it's a couple hours later. I was just cleaning up the kitchen a little bit. And my friend Julia and I are about to record our podcast pretty soon. And I just feel like 
so sleepy and out of it and i think it's like the gloomy weather so i'm gonna make myself a little espresso to wake up a bit and you know what I kind of wanted a glass of wine, but then I was like, eh, that's just gonna make me more sleepy. I need some espresso to wake myself up. But I wanna like loosen up a little bit because the episode that we're recording tonight is about friends with benefits. And I don't know, I just, I feel like right now I'm in kind of like a meh mood. So if I have like a little bit of a cocktail, I feel like it'll, you know, put me in like a fun mood. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Bailey's to my espresso. And since I have these martini glasses now, I can make myself a little espresso martini. I don't think I'm gonna add vodka to it, so I'm not trying to get crazy. <laughs> but we'll do some Bailey's. Cause I have these ingredients for espresso martinis, but I have the tiniest bit left, like literally only enough to make one. So I may as well just finish what I have. A little bit of off-brand Kahlua. And I swear I'm not a big drinker. Like I usually only drink on the weekends when I'm with friends. Oh my God. It's so good. Cheers. I'm gonna go get everything set up so we can start recording. I'm feeling much better already. This is definitely helping. <laughs> I have everything set up, ready to go. I have GarageBand open. This is the program that I use to record and edit the podcast. So I just do my recording straight through that. I have that open. This is gonna be our ninth episode. I can't even believe it, it's so crazy. Um, I have my AirPods here, just charging them up so that they're ready to go. She should be calling me any minute. I'm very excited for this episode. We got so many submissions on Instagram, like so many DMs of people sharing their personal stories and experiences, so if you, don't already listen to my podcast. I'll have a link to it in the description. Hello. I just took Benny out for a walk and it started absolutely pouring. That was like perfect timing. I got off the phone with Julia. I took him out really quick. He like just finished peeing and I was about to walk back and I felt rain coming down and like literally as I'm walking up the steps, it just started coming down. But yeah, it is now 9.23. Every time we record, it's always like, it, it takes multiple hours because we usually are talking on the phone first before we actually start recording and we catch up on life and then we discuss what we're gonna talk about in the episode and how we wanna like go about it and who wants to say what, who's gonna do the intro, blah, blah, blah. Then we actually record the episode, which usually is like an hour and a half. And then after we're done recording, we stay on the phone and we usually talk some more because we always end up having more thoughts after the fact. Definitely glad I had that espresso before we started. I'm going to attempt to edit as much of this episode as I can because it's Thursday night and Thursday is our posting day, but Julia was in Italy and we were supposed to record last night, but then we both had things going on and there were some issues. So we weren't able to do it until tonight. So now, I don't know. I know it's not a huge deal like if we just posted a day late, but I kind of would rather get it over with now before I go to bed. That way I don't have to worry about it in the morning because tomorrow the weather's supposed to be really, really nice. So I wanna just be able to go out and enjoy the day. So welcome back to the Girl Me Get It podcast. I'm Sam. I'm Julia. I have like sort of reconnected, I guess, with a friend of mine that I have, I've literally known him since like elementary school. Good morning. Wow. <laughs> it's one of those mornings where I woke up at like seven and I felt pretty awake, but then I was like, eh, 
it's still kind of early i don't really need to get up yet so i laid there for a little bit and then fell back asleep and then didn't wake up again until like 9 30 so and now i feel tired because i probably overslept a little bit i finished editing the podcast last night but i like to listen to it all the way through after it's done just to make sure there's no mistakes and that everything sounds good before i make it public i am listening to it now as i am having my coffee and kind of just like getting ready it is a gorgeous day out today so i just want to be outside as much as possible and i don't have any other work to do i uploaded a video yesterday so i'm good on that so yeah i'm gonna hop in the shower soon and get ready while i'm listening to that and then once i have approved this i'm gonna make it live then we can go out and start our day all right well that's gonna be it for this episode then because we have been sitting here talking for a while my mouth's getting dry <laughs> all right well we will see you guys next thursday with a new episode can't wait bye publish perfect that was perfect timing just listened to the entire episode all the way through sounded good just finished getting ready so it was perfect timing and i decided to wash my hair and heat style it because in a few days i actually have a hair appointment i'm gonna get my color touched up i'm very very excited i'm definitely gonna vlog that and bring you guys along so that'll probably be my next vlog so i wanted to just blow it out now i know it's easier to like foil and do color and stuff on hair that's like blown out smooth so i figured let me blow it out now that way it'll be good and i can just leave it and then the next time it'll be washed is when i'm getting it done at the salon i just used my dyson flat iron and i just added a little bit of like a loose wave bend kind of thing and then i just pulled it straight down the ends i have a tutorial on how i do this so i'll put um i'll link it in the description if you're interested it's like a review on this flat iron and a tutorial in one. But I am about to meet up with my friend. We're doing the exact same thing that we did last Friday at the beginning of this vlog, taking our dogs for a walk. We're gonna go to that same area um, so that they can play. We can get a nice walk in. I'm hoping that it'll be the same as last week and there won't be a lot of people there so that way we can let them off the leash again and just let them run around, get all their energy out. But yeah, I'm gonna clip this up because it's we're gonna be right by the ocean and I know it's going to be super windy so um I thought I would share like my little clip up thing this is how we would do our hair when we were just like cleaning the house and now it's become like trendy I don't know but anyway I just grab it like I'm putting it in a low ponytail and then twist and then bend down like this and then take my claw clip and just clip it into place just like that and sometimes you get these little cute pieces that stick out that wasn't even intentional but I love it so I'm gonna leave it just like that and then I love having these long curtain bangs and you can just pull these pieces forward for like a little bit of a messier kind of look just like you know kind of mess around with it a little bit make it look a little more effortless let me show you my outfits so i'm wearing this crew neck sweatshirt from h&m and i just rolled it up and i tucked the bottom into my sports bra so that way it gave it this cropped look and it'll like hold it in place without me having to like tie it up and make it all like scrunched i just feel like this is a little bit more flattering um, and then I have bike shorts from Airy. Claw clip is from Amazon. And then I have these very dainty stacked necklaces. This actually, they, they're two separate pieces, so you can wear them separate, but they came together as one set. Um, and it's from Ana Luisa. I can't remember the name of this off the top of my head. I'll put it on the screen. I love it. I've been wearing it in like the last couple of videos, and I got multiple comments asking me about it and where it's from. So yeah. Also, Anna Luisa, I'm telling you guys, anytime you see jewelry on me, 
it's always Ana Luisa. The only thing I wear that isn't from them is this thick bangle, which is my mom gave it to me. Like it was hers. She got it in Italy somewhere. Like don't know the brand or anything. And then I'm just gonna put some sneakers on. I don't know which ones yet. Probably my all black Adidas. She is on her way. She's meeting me here. And then we're gonna go drive down together. Literally exact same thing that we did last week. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check my description for that link to Ana Luisa and take advantage of that Mother's Day sale. Buy one, get one 40% off. It's a really good deal. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.